This is how to play Keep Your Hands to Yourself. This song is jam-packed with awesome licks that I'm going to be showing you guys and also it's great as one of your first examples of a 12-bar blues in A using this straightforward and well-used blues riff. If you're looking for blues examples for rock riffs and licks to learn and you're a beginner, look no further. Let's get straight in for the close-up. I got a little change in my pocket Going jingling on a call to tell So hopefully you have already seen my 12 bar blues lesson uh, which is called a 12 bar blues in A If you haven't, I really recommend that you check out that tutorial before watching this one where I basically talk you through exactly how to do this riff in a full 12 bar blues pattern, going to the D, back to the A, and then back to the E. That riff is there, that full lesson is there. If you haven't seen it but you're pretty confident, keep, keep watching this video because we can just work through the riff. But if you need more help, check out that video. So, what we're going to go straight for is the A5 power chord, played like this, and we're going to play this riff from the off. Slightly palm muted, which means putting the outside of your hand just here, which I talk you through more in, in that video. And then we slightly, you know, lift it off gradually. If you listen to the record, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But it's an absolutely standard 12 bar blues format, going from four bars of the A with the riff, two bars of the D, so two bars of the D would sound like. Back to the A for two. Back to the E for two. And then the A. And um, when we get back to that A, we would typically pause. You know, we'd have, don't tell me your lies and keep your hands to yourself. And um, there's other things that we do when it's an instrumental section, but I'll talk you through those in a second. Let's go from the top. So we have four bars of this riff, which is the intro, and then we're into our standard 12-bar blues. So if you want to play along with me, I will shout them out as we go, shout out the chords. And if you need more help than this lesson is providing, it is all in that video where I talk you through the power chords and the riff in a lot more detail rather than slightly rushing, which I have here, but hopefully, you know, you're already comfortable with that. So ready? With this, that's all we're going to do. And I'll shout out the changes in one, two, three, palm muted as well. Slightly less palm muted, stay on the A, and we're on bar one of the 12 bar boots. Two, three, and four. And then down to a string to a D, and back to A here. Hugging, not kissing till I get a wedding. Each string up, my honey, my baby. And then, that's the riff at the end. My honey, my baby, don't leave no love upon your shelf. Third fret, fourth fret. Don't tell me no lies and keep your hands to yourself. And then the whole thing would repeat again without this being as palm muted, but da 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 Okay? And that would repeat through, you know, with that intro just taking up that first solo. From there, it is 12 bar blues till the end. And the idea is when the full solo's happening. It's just bar one of that 12 bar blues. 
and then we'd change and it and it's just totally normal have a few goes at playing onto the record with that rhythm pattern and you will get it um, from here we're just going to be looking at that first solo it's just kind of a short interlude solo and the rest of them i recommend either improvising or if the requests are such in the comments i will do a full solo on all the lead parts of this song no bother just let me know and i'll try and judge the demand so we're going to be learning this many hallmarks of bluesy style playing and if you had this if you had all the licks that are taught here down you could then improvise a fine solo over this and hundreds of other uh, 12 bar blues songs it's just a great example solo starting off we're in the A minor pentatonic and we start off with a double stop so two strings together one two three four five uh, Finish strings and then moving to seven and seven play you could play it with a flat third finger but I always prefer to do it with third and little finger flat first finger after that um, so that's one two three one two three four five and then we we've already so we've already gone out of the pentatonic scale a little bit with the double stop here and uh, more technical info about exactly what's happening here with the mix of the different scales that we're using but um, we're gonna hit this one then fifth fret and a middle finger here which is a note from the major bar chord okay and we'll hit both of those together. Very bluesy move. After that, one that's not as common but does sound great. Doesn't sound great on its own, but in context. That's eighth fret and third fingers at seventh fret. That's what we're doing. Two, three, four, five. And then almost the same, this one's slightly easier. That's pure Chuck Berry. Double Stop City, I love it. Um, so to recap where we were, because even just that, repeated, would make an absolutely fine solo if this is something that you're wanting to get into improvisation or you're just wanting to learn some cool lead licks. Just repeat this. If I repeated it. Just try and get those moves down. So let's let's repeat just the moves themselves. Let's play that one just once. Listen to the rhythm of the record to get the timing of it properly. But to talk you through it, which isn't the greatest thing to do, but I'm going to try, it is... And four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and told you not necessarily going to help you with that one you need to have some rhythm skills and be experienced with some lead guitar playing before you go for this but let me do that one more time for the more technical aspect of this uh, this solo two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and then towards the end of that uh, second bar 
or, or the end of this phrase, when we've gone, we have this three three uh, three note move. Again, Chuck Berry in a box. Flat first finger, thumb. To do this technique, you have to be clamped between your thumb and the side of your hand. So do this. Then bend your fingers over and really wrap your first finger around the fretboard so you're pinching it. This is how you're going to do this technique, okay? And then you do the string bend. We covered this in Highway to Hell. If you haven't seen that lesson already, it's up here somewhere. Or Andy Guitar Highway to Hell solo, if I haven't uh, done it yet. If I haven't linked it properly. But that's the, the thing that the technique that we're using. And then the second half. All that block style of playing all the double stops. Okay, all that style of playing. As I say, I'm wanting to do this lesson to more show you these moves that you should have down if you want to do this style of playing. But to recap exactly where we're at with this solo now, starting from bar 16 of the tab that is on the website, That's where we've got to. Now we're at bar 19. That one. That is bar 19 in total. Bending up with the third and little finger. Put them both down together. Same technique as with bending with the, just the third finger. But the little finger goes with it. Look at my wrist go up. Uh, wrist has to come up to do the correct bending technique. Bar 20. Pretty easy compared to what we've done before. Same bend, 7 and 7, as we did on the thin two strings. Unbend, 5 and 5, on strings 2 and 3. 5 and 5, 7, 7. There we go, uh, bars 19 and 20. So the second half of this little intro solo. And the solo in total. If you need more help with that, check out my lead guitar course, which is coming in late October, November 2017. More info on that on screen now and at andyguitar.co.uk. And you can check out these other videos now. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Andy Crowley.